So we're here at Mobile World Congress 2018, and who are you? Hi, I'm PJ with Qualcomm, and we're here at the Qualcomm booth, where we're showing off some of the latest Snapdragon 845 devices and experiences. So, so here at the show, there's two new devices with 845. There's the Sony. Absolutely. So this is the Sony uh, X2, uh, the Sony Xperia X2, and the Sony uh, Compact, the Xperia X2 Compact. A smaller version of it. They both feature the Snapdragon 845, and they both have some of the best features that Snapdragon 845 has to offer, such as gigabit LTE, up to 1.2 gigabit download speeds, as well as 4K HDR capture. So in our previous generation of 835, we were able to display uh, HDR content, so that high dynamic range, color pops, and really get that the, the contrast. Now with 845, you can capture that. So these Sony devices are some of the first to do it. So you you work with Sony to, to develop the, uh, to that support? Yeah, so That's Sony, yeah. Launch it. This is one of the first uh, Sony. 24 frames per second? Uh, yeah, I believe it. I believe yeah. it's 24. It might be 30, actually. Yeah. So we'll double check. Yeah. But, uh, but actually, yeah, so uh, this is the, one of the first Sony devices that taps into the image signal processor inside of the Snapdragon 845. So it's used, their camera mar module uh, has a lot of brains now because of Snapdragon. So there's many, many phones are uh, running 835, of course. Some now are coming with nudges, is some uh, some trend. But that's not, that's up to them. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, they can build, Oops. yeah, you know, there's all these exciting designs. Yeah. This one is really awesome, with the, the, all the way to the corner. Yeah. So absolutely. I guess all these customers are also looking forward to upgrade to 845, right? I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, if you just look at our trends, you know, a lot of people are on 800. Then the next year they're on 810. Then the next year they're on 820. Then the next year they're on 835. So I think you can expect something like this, full of 845, later this year. All right. And then uh, one of the sure. new things is you have an AI engine on the, on the SOC. Absolutely. Yeah. What so, is the AI you doing? Yeah. So we have. Uh, so artificial intelligence is booming right now and the hardware inside of Snapdragon is really making that performance faster, but also making it more power efficient. So here we're showing off um, a demo from Tencent, and they made a, um, uh, an app that's designed for our artificial intelligence engine that is actually um, a dance competition. It's using art, it's basically you play this game and it's looking at your moves. It's gonna tell you what moves, it want, what dance moves it wants you to do, and then it's gonna scan your body and figure out if you're actually doing them and award you points, the better the dancer you are. So basically you have those running on the, on here, sorry, can I jump in? Uh, is this, a, uh, is this an 845 development? Uh, yeah, so actually this is a develop, this is what our, our partners use to develop them on, and they're uh, large so they can plug in. We make them with tons of extra ports. So you can see here. Um, I'd love to have three Type C in my phone. <laughs> exactly, why, exactly. Why aren't there any phones with three Type Cs? I don't know. You gotta, you gotta ask the other guys. It but should be I, like a no-brainer. Yeah, but the, uh, you know, I mean, they make it this large so they can uh, test out multiple uh, devices at once. So that's like why. Like four micro SD slots and three Type Cs. Ah, you can, you can. Hey, you, we can, we can build whatever they like. Dual SD card. Okay, maybe a mic, uh, dual SIM. It should be at least four SIMs. Four right? SIMs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, we'll take it under uh, consideration for sure. You have an influence in the industry. You can, you can encourage them to add more ports and stuff. All right, you know Maybe. what? Let me get them on the honker, and okay. we'll, we'll add more for it. Cool. So, yeah, so now we're going to our connectivity, connectivity area. And as you can see, you know, Qualcomm, our bread and butter is connectivity. Um, we can put all of this, you know, rich AI, rich capture, all that in there, but if you can't share it um, wirelessly, what good is your phone? So, so here we have big... You already had fast Wi-Fi before. Is this AD or not? Uh, we do have, we do support, yeah, we have, we're demoing AD. So if you see here, we have uh, AD with uh, Wi-Fi songs. That's uh, mesh network. So that's built in with the 845? Uh, 845 supports it, so it's a discrete option. Yeah, exactly. So we have, yeah, exactly. So AC is built into. Is there any big cost to have AD, or do you need to reconfigure the antennas? Well, it requires some extra RF, but I mean, there's, uh, it's it's not it's not baked into the SOC, but it's part of the larger platform. So it's another chipset on the PCB. Yes, correct. But AC is integrated into uh, into the platform as, as well. So yeah, so there's so basically there's multiple ways to get gigabit uh, wire, wireless connectivity when you're on Snapdragon. That's whether you're through Wi-Fi or through LTE. 
audio player. You're pushing the limits of Wi-Fi. Are you using the Wi-Fi spectrum in the optimal manner? Oh yeah, I mean, if you can see here, uh, we're using uh, the 60 gigahertz uh, multi-millimeter wave. Which is part of the AD, right? Exactly, exactly, which is part of the 802 11 AD. Control there. So, um, is it even faster LT now? Cool. Well, this is actually what we're showing here. This is our, actually our next generation modem. Our uh, next gen, so, yeah. yeah. So, this is our next gen modem, uh, the X24. That is correct. Right. That and is this the is latest. This that's the third generation gigabit LTE that we have. Exactly. So, that's, that's uh, not just a single gigabit, it's two gigabit now. That's two gigabit per second. We're doubling the gigabits. You didn't know we could do it, but we're doing it. We're doubling the gigabits. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. yeah so, so the way that we're doing that is basically there. This is kind of the same technology that we have in the, our first generation. Uh, it's carrier aggregation, two foot six quam, and um, is it kind of like a MIMO four four or MIMO. LTE or yeah. something? So the way we're doing it here in this generation is actually aggregating five carriers. All of them has four by four MIMO and two foot six quam. So that would give us like twenty layers. All right. All right. And then next will be uh, in, a, in a year or two there'll be five G two. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, if you come over here, you'll see in an, an, uh, early 2019, we'll have about, I think, 30 partners launching 5G devices. Their names are up here on the wall if you want to get a look at who you can expect 5G from. So there's uh, some of the partners on the 5G, uh, working with the X50 Snapdragon uh, modem. And I got the, the speeds you can expect. Right now, this is a live demo. Live 5G yeah. speeds going on right now. Okay. I mean, we're pushing yeah. four gigabits per second right now, and this is live. Uh, a network that we constructed here at uh, on our floor. But show isn't floor. it sad for the fiber tech companies that you are doing everything wirelessly that fast? Uh, there's, you know, I mean, you know, to your point, uh, we like to call it fiber to the phone. So wireless fiber to the phone. But uh, what can you do with all that connectivity? Well. And here's our graphics portion of Snapdragon 845. So you can see here, uh, this is a popular game in China that we're showing off here yeah. from Tencent. And uh, the, the original version is uh, HD quality. Is it kind of a like game of legends, but uh, another? Yeah, I, uh, exactly. Um, so this is actually called uh, King, King of Honor. So King that's, of Honor. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Uh, the English translation. And so the uh, original version that's in the market right now is uh, HD resolution, but the um, the version that Tencent made for us is a 2K resolution. Um, 2K. Only Snapdragon 845 can handle this. You need a GPU that powerful to render that kind of resolution. And then the GPU itself can actually intelligently uh, upscale it to 4K resolution. So it's even extra sharp. 4K um, on the output. Correct, that's correct. And it's built in the Unity game engine version 4.6, and it's running at 60 frames per second. And in that, each one of those frames, you're seeing about 32,000 triangles being rendered in every frame. So, so how does that compare to a PlayStation 4 or something like that? Um, those guys, I mean, you have to ask those guys. Xbox you have to ask those guys. I mean, but the Xbox 360, uh, the, you know, the PlayStation, they're great. Um, but we're focusing on handheld ones that you can put in your back pocket and carry a game console with you anywhere you go. You should just be able to dock it when you arrive at home. You dock it in, and you have a 4K console, right? And there you go. It's 4K. Absolutely. But how about advanced like uh, Unreal Engine kind of games? Uh, well, we, we, this was actually some shoot. Yeah. So this is built games. in Unity, but if you come right here, um, we have a VR demo that was built in Unreal Engine. And so uh, we have here, if we can get the VR headset on you. I don't know if we can get that on camera. Okay. But uh, hey, how you doing? Hey. Okay. Uh, good. I'm just going to grab Carlos for a moment. I'm going to put the headset on you. Sorry. Yes. I'm hey, Carlos, right. so you want to talk for a moment about our VR demo that we're doing in here of Space Dock and some of the cool features that are inside of it? Um, sure. So, so what is this especially designed demo for 845? Yes, so what we're trying to showcase here is our six degrees of freedom. Yeah. So you know, you usually get like your rotation the first three degrees, but then the second three degrees would be like your translation. Yeah. Uh, and then on top of that, we have special audio. So there's a little like robot that moves around, and then you can hear where the robot is and like nice. talk to you from different places. Can you hold the camera? Yeah, so maybe I can, I can be set up. Yeah, why don't you put it on? Cool. All right. Let's try it again. Thank you. So I'm going to try to explain the, what I'm going to experience. Okay, let's see. So is this the best VR experience in the world? I, I think That's it's the best mobile VR experience out there. Best mobile so, VR? Yeah, so I mean most VR, you know, is has a cord on it tethered to a large desktop big? computer. Yeah, bigger. Uh, but with Snapdragon, yeah. you're completely mobile. 
So all of the uh, computing is done on the headset. You're not tethered to a large desktop computer. Um, you're not tethered to, uh, there's not sensors on other sides of the That's room. My all of the sensors are inside the headset. I don't need my head. Okay, so do I have a controller? Yeah. Do you see a space dock? Yeah, I see a space dock. Okay, so basically I'm in a I'm in a 360 world right now. It's loading, right? Yeah. You should you should press the space dock in the middle okay. with the laser. Can you see what I'm seeing or not? No. No. Okay. Do you see now the laser? Yeah. I see a robot flying there. So can I shoot it or punch yeah. it? So what is the resolution of the screen in here? Uh, it's 1K per eye. So is it 2K display? Exactly. Yes, collectively it's 2K resolution. So what do I do with this robot? Hey, come back. <laughs> it's flying. There's a robot. Fl oh, it's very clear. It's actually pretty awesome. Would you like to uh, show Lisa? Nice. So how does this compare to the latest HTC Vive? Nice. So I'm trying to explain. Uh, I'm in the space. There's a flying robot. It's explaining to me what to do. And basically, I'm in Star Wars right now. Bunch of robots. A huge spaceship. Qualcomm Advanced Content Group. OK, thanks. Let's shoot the robots. I, I want to shoot some robots. Can I shoot some robots? Hey, I want to punch them. But I, I, it's better not to. OK. Whoa. I'm in space right now. Yeah, thanks. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, can I take it off? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was. That What'd was, you think? What'd you think? That's pretty mind blowing. Wait, that's uh, it's very high resolution. Very cool. Cool. All right, that was great. Okay, I'm glad you liked your demo of this Snapdragon Thanks. 845 mobile VR. That was great. So, uh, so, so, just to have an idea, what is this headset built on? Is it gonna be like, this kind of like a phone or? Uh, this is, is this, this is a specially built. Is this all in one? Yep, yep. System, right? Yep, and this is a reference design. So um, it's up on our website so our partners can use it and test Chukay. and build future um, VR headsets. Uh, nice. Like some of our other, if you come out here, some yeah. of our other partners have created. We're going to hop around you guys for a second. So uh, you can see yeah. that some of our other partners have used our reference design in the past to create um, some awesome VR experiences. So the this is based on 8, 835. This is based on 835. Then you have augmented reality glasses that are also based on 835 from um, ODG. ODG, exactly. Um, as well as, uh, actually, this is one of the latest from Lenovo and Google. This is the Lenovo Mirage Solo. It's they're uh, using their Daydream standalone headset, and so. So it's pretty awesome. It comes with a camera, so you can actually capture. So you, um, you put that in front of the camera? Oh, no, uh, this is so you can um, capture content that's um, in, uh, it for VR. So you can later watch it uh, um, yourself. So I'm glad you stopped by the booth and saw some of the cool new features in Snapdragon 845. And we're hoping to get all these products in your pocket or on your head very soon. 2018 is going to be very exciting for um, for consumers, for everybody, yeah, exactly. It faster, better, and so the the, the can, can you say just a little bit about the the CPU bump is, is still the cryo? Exactly. So no, no. Okay. Well, it's not the same cryo. So it's a brand new cryo. So we have a new version of it, and based on our benchmarks, it's about thirty percent faster than our previous generation cryo CPU. However, we also have tons of stuff inside there. We have a GPU. So our new GPU, brand new architecture. So it's about 30 to 40% faster, depending on which benchmarks you're using. But overall, the entire chip is 30% more power efficient. That means that the battery is gonna last that much longer. You're gonna get faster speeds, but you're also gonna get much longer charge, so your battery goes even longer. But it's so awesome, in just one year. In just, it, in just one year, you did all that work for us, so we can get better and stuff. And it was just me. It was just you. No, I'm kidding. No, kidding. Your friends, your <laughs> no, all my friends, of course, of course. And, uh, we have tons of people working it's still on this 10 nanometer, little, little thing. It was 10 nanometer last year, but it's still 10 nanometer. 10 nanometer but second generation optimized. of 10 nanometer. All right. Yeah. So cool. yeah. So exactly. So it, this is uh, last year. It went down to 10 nanometers, um, and so those uh, smaller transistors 
uh, mean that it's going to be more power efficient and faster. So this year, we're on a second generation of 10 nanometer, but all of that performance and all of that power, um, low power, comes from brand new architectures within the chip. So there's new architectures within the GPU, new architectures within the image signal processor, which controls the camera, new architectures within the DSP, which does audio, as well as artificial intelligence. So there's tons of new uh, architectures that really give it that speed boost and as well as that lower power consumption. And actually the, the area that I'm most excited in is like productivity stuff. And this is uh, the 835, uh, but... Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is one of my favorites too. So yeah, what you're looking at here, this is, um, these are uh, running windows. Yeah. And this is, uh, they have a Snapdragon inside of them. Yeah. So this is uh, it's using Snapdragon 835. And you'll see this is, uh, we call it Windows on Snapdragon. And it's running Windows 10. And uh, because Win Snapdragon is very low power, uh, our partners have been able to build uh, devices that have no fans in them. They stay yeah. cool, uh, there's no fans, and the battery life? life is incredible. Yeah. We were doing a, a rundown here, and you can see uh, this device here from HP that's coming out got 21 hours of video playback, just straight video playback. It's still running. Yeah, it's and, not dead uh, yet. And uh, so, so that was an 835, but did you do even more optimizations at 845 to do even faster Windows emulation or something? Well, we can't talk about that just yet. Yeah, you but you'll see you'll see these uh, 835 devices from Asus, Lenovo, and HP are coming to market very shortly. Uh, and all the uh, your favorite Windows apps like Office, you'll be able to run them, and they're going to run, and it's going to be able to run for even longer. Because look at this battery life; this is out of control. And devices like the the Samsung Dex, they're doing uh, PC mode on Android. It's now also getting a bump at 845. It's yeah, I mean, gonna... you're getting a performance bump, and so you're, you're starting to blend the world of you have a PC-like performance in your pocket. And now you truly have PC performance now that uh, with Windows on Snapdragon. Yeah, console-like performance. It's got the same GPU that's in our Snapdragon 30, 835, which is uh, probably the, the, the most GPUs on the planet right now are inside of, uh, are come from Snapdragon. Exactly. So 